So my name is Tony Ryan. I'm the Professor of Physical Chemistry at the University of Sheffield. So choosing the right PhD is hard because you don't quite know what it's going to be like and how it's going to turn out. So my number one tip would be find a place that you want to work and a subject you want to work on. Um, choosing the right supervisor for you is really important because that's a very intense relationship. Um, so some of my PhD students, 30 years out almost, um, I still write references for because I've kept in touch with them and my PhD supervisor um, I met for lunch about a year ago. So when you're applying to do a PhD you need to communicate to the selector and the supervisor that number one you're passionate about that subject, number two you have the ability to do that research and number three that you're really committed. So to be a good PhD student, um, you need to be organised um, because you're on your own, right? It's, you'll get supervision, you'll get help, but essentially it's your project and you need to own it. Um, and making sure you own it right from the start all the way through until you deliver that thesis is really important. So dedication application and a bit of perspiration. So when you do a PhD you get faced with a problem uh, that you have to kind of work out a big scale solution to uh, and it dominates your life. So, so I learned that I could concentrate on something really really well um, but I could also integrate many different things together. When I finished my PhD, I won a NATO postdoctoral research fellowship, which sounds really rather grand. And it meant that I went to work in the best chemical engineering department in the world at the University of Minnesota. Um, and that was transformational. So I came back from that experience a different kind of researcher. Uh, and it set me up for working on the synchrotron, doing time-resolved X-ray scattering to understand how molecules organise themselves and set me up for the rest of my academic career. If a PhD is right for you, then you'll have a fantastic time. It's most likely the last time in your life you'll be able to concentrate on one thing and one thing alone. And you need to treasure that opportunity because at the end of your PhD, you will be the most knowledgeable person in the world about your subject.